Hey guys, Andy here, and today I want to give you all a major update on the state of me, Andy, but mostly this channel right here. So I could have saved this for a community post, but I don't want to. So we're doing this little one take wonder raw vlog. So I've decided that after some careful consideration, I'm going to be shutting down the edit with Andy channel. So. What this means is that I'm also going to be moving the content from that channel to this channel right here. And I know you guys probably have some questions about that. One, great, he's moving more shit over again. Yeah, kind of is what it is. But I think overall, it's, uh, it's for the best long term. Now, just to get, share some stuff with you guys as it involves the Edit with, with Andy channel. Um, truth be told, I actually lost monetization on that channel a few months ago. And the reason behind that was the amount of watch time on that channel had decreased significantly over the years. And YouTube studied it and decided to remove monetization from that channel. It also didn't help I wasn't uploading all that regularly either, but I digress. The lack of watch time was uh, their official reason. So, anyway... I had considered what I would do to um, get the watch hours up again and just kind of saw like where I was in relation to uh, getting monetization turned back on again on that channel and decided, you know, the juice wasn't really worth the squeeze in that point. And the thing is with, with the edit by Andy, or edit with Andy channel, it's a blessing and a curse, you know, because those short editing tutorials do very well. They pull in a lot of consistent traffic and they get a lot of good views, good retention time, stuff like that. But there's only so much watch time you can get out of short little one to three minute videos, right? No matter how good they are. So despite getting consistent views, a healthy subscriber base, literally twice as many subscribers as this channel, and about three times the amount of views. So that's got to account for something, right? But despite all that, it's not enough watch time to qualify for uh, monetization. And just like with the original Andy Japan channel, it's also divesting my focus. So I feel like Whereas before I would, you know, split up different types of content that I would do into different channels, focusing on very specific types of content. I think now it's a good time to consolidate everything just so my focus isn't split and I can focus more on uh, this channel. So what does this mean for future Edit with Andy content? Well, it means that it's going to be on here. So as far as any plans to make new tutorials on this channel. I don't have any as of the time of this recording, but once everything is all moved over on this channel, I definitely do want to put up a couple tutorials and stuff like that and have that be part of the content that I put up on YouTube all under one channel. So I think, yeah, in the short term, it might get a little annoying seeing re-uploads again, but I think long-term it will definitely benefit the channel as well. And you guys get more content. So what's the, what else can you say about that? So, uh, that's the news with, uh, with edit with Andy and, uh, the other news <clears throat> as far as, uh, the vlog compilations go, I'm uh, really enjoying you guys' uh, feedback on that. And I'm really enjoying putting those together. Pretty easy, to be honest. Um, but it is nice to look back at, uh, older videos and just kind of see where I was at the time and where my headspace was and just like, what were my problems at the time? And it's just like, dang, man, I, I remember when I went to that place and stuff like that. So even if they don't get a whole crap ton of views or anything like that, it's still nice to be able to look back on the old content warts and all, you know, and it's a nice way to have it all compiled, you know, so people who are new to my channel 
can see like what the heck I was up to back in 2008, right? So, as far as uh, that series goes, um, I know I said initially I was going to upload one compilation every other week, but I figure in the spirit of things, we'll be up uploading uh, one compilation every week, and we'll just do that on Fridays for Flashback Friday, right? So I'll be uploading a new, new <laughs> uh, vlog compilation video. Uh, cataloging every year of my vlogs. Uh, some of them are pretty long though, just uh, letting you all know ahead of time. Uh, but we're going to get the words. <laughs> no edits. Anyway, so we're going to be doing that every Friday until we're up to current. And then once we're up to current, we'll be doing the vlog compilations as a yearly, like end of the year sort of thing. Um, and then after we get uh, the vlogs up to date as far as the compilations go. Another candidate for complification, that's a word? <laughs> Turning into complicate, uh, complication. Oh, this is a pain. <laughs> into compilations, excuse me. I'm a little, a little too jazz for stuff. Um, but yeah, the next series I'm gonna be turning into compilations, got it in the end, will be my old Navy videos. And I'm really excited to, to get those up as well, because those were my first initial bit of success on YouTube, was talking about uh, my time in the U.S. Navy. And that's going to include both my NFAX, which are the, probably the series that I'm most well known for. Uh, it's also going to include Life After Navy and Andy Talks Navy as well. So I figure we'll just make compilations of the series, and uh, from there, we'll, uh, we'll go from there, right? <laughs> you know, as far as other stuff, there's a whole breadth of, uh, of old content that I can look for for compilations. Um, but I think once we get the vlogs done, probably ease up a little bit and uh, actually make it every other week or maybe every other, or not every other, but like every month or so. But I just really want to get the vlogs out uh, in a uh, expeditious manner, if you will. <laughs> I'm starting to run out of words here. Um, but I do want to get the vlog compilations out pretty fast. And uh, as far as the other stuff goes, it'll come when it comes. And I'll be sure to update you guys on all that. So um, that's where we stand as far as new content on this channel. Uh, but as far as actual new content on this channel, um, I do have some plans for some stuff. It's just very early in the works, you know, and at the time of this recording, it is Saturday, um, July 23rd, 23rd, yes, 23rd, I had to check, <laughs> again, no cuts, raw vlog, baby, anyway, today is Saturday, July 23rd, 2022, Ooh. which means that I'm officially 14 days two weeks from graduating college or university for my non-Americans out there. And it just seems, say it with me now, so surreal, right? <laughs> to, uh, to be saying that. But, you know, once the time comes, I do want to put out a graduation video. I think uh, Lakeland's gonna have like some cameras and stuff there, so. We'll be uh, able to put something together. I'll probably have to talk with one of the guys to see if I can like get my camera set up because obviously I'm not going to be in the crowd filming my own graduation, right? So I'll probably just have it set up on the tripod or something like that. And uh, we'll be able to put a little something something together, right? So I'll be on the lookout for that. Um, probably just focus on um, kind of my parts and not subject you to the full... I think it's like two or three hour uh, ceremony so we'll uh we'll condense it just for you guys <laughs> so that's something i'm planning on doing as far as new content goes and then uh post-graduation we'll see you know because uh a lot of stuff is happening you know it's very nascent right now i can't really talk about it to be honest 
it's all very speculative um so we kind of want to talk about at this point but since i'll have a whole lot more free time in between hunting jobs of course um definitely be able to uh to put out more of that quality content for y'all and not just old stuff either <laughs> so i'm really looking forward to to doing that and yeah fuck it we'll just say it here i was going to save it for a separate video and i might still do it but i do want to talk about it here as well and that is um the overall changing of stuff for me on youtube you know i've watched a couple videos by some people um i've watched a video by super eye patch wolf on influencer courses and I've watched The History of the Downward Spiral by Emp Lemon, where he goes over his journey to a million subscribers. And I've seen a bunch of other videos as well, but those two in particular really stood out to me. And the thing that I took away from those videos is that at the end of the day, YouTube success, quote unquote, isn't about the numbers. You know, it's about your ability to make videos that you enjoy and it's uh it goes back to an old saying that uh, one of my good friends once said he uh is a surfer if you will he said the best surfer isn't the one who surfs the biggest waves or does the most dazzling stunts the best surfer is the one who's having the most fun and i totally agree with that sentiment as it relates to youtube so to me YouTube success and the best YouTuber are the ones that are having the most fun. And I feel like I really lost sight of that over the years. You know, just chasing the numbers, if you will, and trying to make big number go big. You know, and I've had, I had a comment recently that I've since deleted that was basically kind of mocking my YouTube success. You know, they basically said, what YouTube success, you fucking nub? You know, and... To me, success isn't about, again, big number going big. It's about having fun and making friends and putting out videos that I enjoy. And I know y'all been screaming that from the mountaintops for a number of years now. And I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a bit deaf sometimes. <laughs> Got a little bit of the tinnitus from my time in the Navy, so you'll have to forgive me. But yeah, I'm finally starting to, uh, to pay attention to that stuff. And I'm glad that YouTube in general is starting to move away from the more sensationalist type content. That content will always be around. But I'm glad to see that the old spirit of YouTube is coming back around. It's just people making these little raw vlogs like you're seeing here. Just talking to a camera, you know, or a cell phone, which <laughs> wasn't a thing back in my day. Couldn't talk to a cell phone Upload it to YouTube. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? I had to bust out the old Sanyo's Acti. Or the old flip cam. The little flip out USB dongle. Slap that sucker onto the desktop and uh, there you go. Now I can just... Hell, I could probably just live stream this from my phone. Fucking crazy how technology works. But anyway. Old man Eddie San had to uh, get off his soapbox there. So, regardless. You know, I've just been seeing a lot of these YouTubers. Um really enjoying themselves making content even though before they were chasing the numbers and for me you know i look back at my original anti japani series and i i tend to look back on that one pretty often because to me i feel like that period of my life 2014 2015 2015 especially were my creative peaks on this channel as well as just the the high watermark of this channel you know it's getting the most comments uh subscriber growth was really coming in pretty hot and heavy i felt like you know i was collaborating with all these different people and life was really good you know in terms of youtube stuff uh, personal life yeah not so much but uh, that's for another video right so i just want to kind of bring back that old spirit that i lost on YouTube and just make videos because I want to make videos you know not try to please 
algorithm sama and just have fun you know i've actually really been enjoying for the past few months now really been enjoying making videos for the first time in some time and i want to continue doing that you know and whether it's strictly talking about how to come over to japan on the gi bill or signing up for schools and stuff like that i'll still talk about that sorts of stuff even after i'm graduated because i do want to help people that's one of my goals in addition to making videos that i like i also want to make videos that are informative and videos that help people because i think that helping people is is very important to me so you'll still get like the top five things about japan and all this other stuff but just know it comes from a place of love <laughs> and not just for the clickbait although you know little ego boost from the clickbait right so <laughs> the more things change right but yeah you know overall i feel really good about these changes to uh to my youtube and just how i see things moving forward and you know once i get a a real job mom <laughs> sorry love you mom uh but once i get a real job then uh quote unquote um i still want to continue doing youtube and whether or not I get 100k subs and get the silver play button or a million subs and get the gold play button, that's irrelevant, you know. Would those be nice to have? Of course. You know, it's, you know, very, very good to have those sorts of uh, tokens to show that, you know, you're not the only one that appreciates your hard work. But at the same time, at the end of the day, you have to be the one that appreciates what you do the most. Otherwise, what's the point, right? <laughs> you know, why else would you be talking to yourself between four walls to a piece of glass with some semiconductors doing little beeps and boops as it reads my face? Why else would you be doing it? So, yeah, I think that'll do her for today's little raw bliggity vlog talking about life youtube and everything else and it's pretty fitting that i have a, uh, a red shirt on and that later today i'm gonna be going to the youtube japan summer beach bash get together so i figured i'd dress the part right so anyway just want to thank you guys as always for tuning in to this video and others i'm gonna rock it old school with this outro so also want to thank you guys for liking the thumbs commenting subscribing, send a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, and forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.